If you're a gamer or you create gaming content, you know the audio piece of that is a lot trickier than it seemed at first. You want to capture your voice and make sure it sounds good. You need that voice to be recorded, but you also need your friends on Discord to be able to hear you. You want to hear your friends from Discord, and sometimes it'd be nice to have that also be recorded with your voice. Then you've got the game audio. You need to hear it. It needs to be recorded, but your friends on Discord don't need to hear it. You see what I mean? It starts to get pretty complicated. And if you've if you've dove into the different solutions out there, you know you typically need a couple of things, a couple pieces of software, a couple pieces of hardware to pull that off and make that work. Or else you're, you've got one earbud in for your phone, another headphone for the game, and it just gets really confusing. Guess what? It doesn't have to be confusing, and it doesn't have to involve a bunch of different pieces of gear. This little guy right here, this is the Revelator from Personas, just might be the thing you've been looking for. My name is Joe from Personas. I'm a musician and an audio engineer, but I've also been creating content on YouTube for the last decade, uh, and I know a lot of what you're going through. Granted, my content is showing a piece of recording software and how I make music with it. Your content is showing a piece of gaming software and how you play games with it, right? So it's, there's a lot of similarities there. Now, I love games. I play games, but I'm terrible at them. Uh, so... You stick to being the gaming professional. I'll show you how to get the audio stuff set up since I'm the audio professional, okay? So what makes this thing unique from all the other USB microphones on the market? Well, it does sound good. That's a given. It also has built-in processing, so you can add things like EQ, compression, gates, limiters to the audio. Okay, so if you want to make your voice sound a little bit better, if you want to put a little compression on there so that it's nice and loud, or when you scream because a zombie jumped out, or you know, zombies, I don't know, uh, you don't want that to be too loud, that compressor will turn that down for you automatically, uh, or maybe you want a gate, so when you're not talking um, between levels or whatever, uh, the sound gets quiet, and then when you talk, it turns back on. All of that built into the microphone, you can control it from, some, from software on your computer, both Mac and PC, but it actually runs on the mic itself, that's pretty cool. Secondly, the microphone has a headphone output. So you can, this will be your audio device for your computer. Input through the microphone, output from the headphone jack into your headphones. So you don't really need any other piece of audio equipment to get your audio in and out of the computer. Okay? Next, here's what makes it really fun it has included software that not only does what I've just talked about, but it also does a bunch of routing meaning I can set up separate mixes to go to different destinations. One mix for my headphones, one mix for uh, the live stream to Twitch or YouTube Live or for my recording software, ScreenFlow or whatever you use to record your videos. That's its own mix. Another mix that goes to Discord. Uh, so that's what my buddies hear. So maybe they just hear, you know what? Let's just dive in. I'll show you exactly how it works. Okay, when you buy your Revelator, you're going to register it on our website and you're going to get access to this software called Universal Control. Once you have it installed, you will see this right here. This is the Revelator. You click on it and this control panel comes up. One thing to keep in mind, for what we're going to talk about, there's two different modes for this microphone. You're going to want to use multi-mode. That's the one that lets you do all that cool routing. All right, so this is the, the layout. A lot of this won't be super useful for you if, you're, if you just wanna have a microphone, have it sound good, don't wanna worry with all the effects, that's fine. However, there are a bunch of different presets you can play around with. Here are some different effects you can use. You can actually get in here and dial them in yourself if you're comfortable doing that sort of thing. If not, there's a lot of presets here and lots of great tutorials out there on how to dial in vocal tone. But right out of the box, it'll be sounding good. Now, down here is where it gets interesting. So we, we see a number of these, they're called faders, okay? These let us control volume of different things. But what are we controlling here? Um, well, the first one, of course, is our microphone. I can use this to turn my mic up and down. I'm getting louder, I'm getting softer, okay? That's what you're hearing. And this is coming out of one of these four outputs, okay? These are my inputs here. They all are going to these outputs. This is where the, the audio is going. You can have a separate output, output for your headphones that's different from everything else. For me, most of the time, I like to listen to my main output, so I just click that little button so I'm listening to what's my main output, which is what's being recorded on the video, and that's what's also feeding my headphones. But here's where it gets really cool. So first, how do I get my game audio into 
this software? Well, that's really easy. Open up your system preferences. Uh, this works on both Mac and PC and just set the output, the audio output of your system to Revelator. You'll notice it has Revelator, Revelator Loopback 1 and Revelator Loopback 2. For now, we're going to set our the output of our computer to Revelator. That means if I play music from Spotify or iTunes or when I play my games, that audio is going to show up here. And what's great about that is now I have this fader for the audio from my game, this fader for my voice, and I can blend between the two. A lot of times our voices are quieter than the music because the music's really loud. We can bring that music down to make it more balanced. For example, I've loaded up a game here. It's super fun. I'm terrible at it. Uh, but as you can see, here's the audio from the game. I can turn that up and I can turn it down and set whatever balance I want to have for the main mix, okay? Now we could stop there and you'd be good to go. If you just need to do videos where you need to hear your voice, hear the audio from the computer, blend the two together and set the levels, you're great. Whatever recording software you use to record your videos, just set your audio input to Revelator, not Revelator Loopback 1 or to Loopback 2, but just Revelator, and that's gonna listen to this main mix that we just set up. Okay, so that's our main mix. So what about these other two here? As you can see, as I click through these, the faders move, right? So we can set different combinations of levels and in different mixes entirely for each of these. This is where it gets really cool. Let's say you want to hear your buddies from Discord. Let's turn this one into a Discord channel. You'll note up here that's called Loopback 1. Let me open Discord and go to Voice and Video input device we're going to set revelator loopback one output device we're going to set to revelator loopback one as well so now this is being fed from loopback one here and then it's sending its output to loop back one here. So when your buddies are talking on Discord, this is a separate volume control for just them. If they're really quiet, you can turn them up. If they're really loud, you can turn them down. If they're being annoying, you can mute them and turn them off. <laughs> That's great. But how do they hear us? Well, we're gonna give them their own mix. We're gonna call that loop back one. We'll call this to Discord, okay? Now this one, all we want them to hear is our voice. So we don't want them to hear our playback. We don't want them to hear themselves from Discord. We just want them to hear my microphone. As you can see, we've got signal over here already. Um, let's check it. Testing one, two, three. If I pull this down, you'll notice now they're not getting any signal. This is a separate dedicated mix just going to Discord. This is what they hear. If they say, hey, your mic's too loud, you can just come in here and say, oops, sorry, bro. All right, let's go. Let's play. Okay, so that's the Revelator and how you can use it for gaming content. If you've never used audio software like this before, I completely understand it can seem intimidating at first, but once you use it, spend a few minutes using it, it'll start to click for you and you'll realize, oh, this is actually pretty simple. You're just talking about sources and destinations. Sources over here, my voice, uh, my buddies on Discord, that audio, my game audio. I need to send those over here to some destinations like my video recording software, my live stream software or platform, and you know Discord, my buddies need to be able to hear me somehow. This software allows you to accomplish that, and the software comes with the microphone. I mentioned before, I've had to use other pieces of software and or hardware to accomplish what this USB microphone does with the built-in software. It's insane. If you're interested, if you think this might be the thing you've been looking for, I encourage you to check it out. I'm pretty sure it will be. Uh, you can check out more on our website. We've got more videos on our YouTube channel. Or just head to your local dealer and buy one. You're going to love it. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.